Oh, and thus the challenge was no. born. Hold on. The donuts down. Man. No problem. I was doing pretty well time wise too. Seven town. donuts in. Then. What's up y'all, it's your girl Sammy back with another video and as y'all see by the title, I really, to tell y'all the truth, have no idea what it is I'm gonna watch, like, I was just looking at it, it said Krispy Kreme, I'm like, dang, that's the donuts? So my curiosity got the best of me and I'm, you know, trying to see what it is. So, you know, we finna see what he's even doing, what's going on, what the heck the Krispy Kreme challenge is or whatever this crazy junk is. But, you know what I'm saying, before we get into the video, if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. We post it daily or every week at least, you know what I'm saying, on the grind. And I'm excited. This low-key made me want to donut this title, no cap, but... Alright y'all, let's see what this man talking about. Let's do it. At this point in my life, I've attempted the gallon challenge, the waffle house challenge, and a bunch of other food related nonsense. But there's been one oh, challenge so that's like always food? piqued my interest, and tonight on the studio Something? review, I take on that what challenge. They call it? Back in 2004, a few students at NC State dared each other to run the 2.5 miles to the local Krispy Kreme, eat a dozen donuts, and then run the 2.5 miles back to campus. Oh, and thus the challenge was born. No. Hold on. So, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So is this man really about to get full off of donuts and have to do two miles going back? I already know that going back is gonna be the hardest part. I imagine that that's gonna be the hardest part. Going back, going there, I feel like that's gonna be cake because you know you energize, you pump, you gonna try to make it. Going back though. Let's get into it. And thus the challenge was born. This past weekend, I had the pleasure of competing in the 19th annual running of the Krispy Kreme Challenge. Okay. And it's evolved into a whole event with road closures, That's timing lit. chips, the whole shebang. It's also been named a bucket list race by Runners World Magazine. That's lit. And I should be clear here, the goal wasn't for me to win the race because people have finished in under 30 minutes, okay. which means they're running at like a five minute mile pace. Oh. And if you remember from the Taco Bell documentary, I'm not exactly cranking out five minute miles these days. I just oh. wanted to complete the challenge and to do that you need to finish your donuts and make it back to the start in under an hour I so i set a goal for myself of finishing in 45 minutes and not throwing up in addition Dang. to that time goal see listen bro you real he real he real because me <laughs> once i get full there's no going back I had a personal okay, score to yeah. settle with the city of Raleigh. Raleigh was where I ran my first marathon back in 2014, and it did not go well. It was way hillier and way hotter than any conditions I had trained in, and I had to stop at the medical tent at mile 13 because I was underprepared and overconfident. I probably wouldn't have finished that race at all if it weren't for a kind stranger named Vance who ran walked the entire second half of the marathon with me. Here's us at the finish line brothers. Anyways, Raleigh and I had an axe to grind and I was not going to let her beat me again. On the night before the race, I grabbed a burrito to fuel up. I know I've mentioned this before, but some people think you need to leave room for an eating challenge, but my theory is that you've got to keep your stomach big. What? The morning of the race finally arrived so and it was more really cold, but eat. I was feeling good. I had been training for this day. In the I mean, months leading up to the race, works. I ran. I ate donuts. I also ran while eating donuts. Wow. You don't actually have to do that for the challenge. I just, I just <laughs> thought it would be funny. I ate even more donuts. Nah. Okay, maybe I focused a little more on the donut part than the running part. But in preparation, I ate four donuts in under a minute. So I knew that hypothetically, I could finish a dozen in three to four. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, okay, okay, so boom. Okay, so boom, I got it. So basically, his whole method is trying to eat the food in a certain amount of time before he has to start walking again and then trying to complete the task while he's still full i like how this man is thinking four minutes you on know, the other hand the ones it. that i ate in practice were hot off the conveyor this belts they're soft this and easy insane. to chew and i knew that the ones that i'd eat during the challenge would almost hey 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 hey, hey. let me i'm sorry for pausing it but y'all 
I used to work at a Krispy Kreme factory and that just brought back so many memories just now. That brought back so many memories, man. <sighs> Let me know in the comments down below if I should tell Stop by the time that crispy. Cause I got some things to say for that place. Krispy Kreme? Yeah, I'm Team Duncan. That's all I wanna say. Certainly not be Always fresh. Forever. So I decided to allot five minutes to eat the donuts, which would leave about 40 minutes to finish the, the five miles. So right around an eight minute mile pace. He's like really putting a method on this stuff. I gotta watch more. How often does he do this? It seems like he's a trained runner. Look at all the people, bruh. It was finally go time. Time to take on the challenge and make sure that I can no leave way Raleigh that many with my dignity, unlike last time. I took the first mile easy and just had fun with it. I knew from my training that it was a lot easier to start slow and then pick up the of pace course. rather than starting fast and trying to hold that pace. There it's weren't any mile markers, but according to my watch, I ran that first mile around an 8.30 okay. pace. Perfect. Some people have said that you should go as fast as you can the first two and a half miles and then just do whatever it takes to survive the final two. Mm. Not me. I decided beforehand that I didn't want to try to scarf down all those donuts while I was also trying to catch my breath. So the plan was insane. steady on the way out, fast on the way back. Just past Indiana Jones. <laughs> Yo, I hit. love, I don't know what city he's in, but I just love how everybody's like dressed up or a couple of them are like trying to like get in the event while they're running. Some of them know they're not finna make it to the finish line. They know they're not. They they probably gave up right now. But they came and showed out, clothing wise. And we, you know, I admire that. I admire that. So I bought it anytime soon. At least I hope. Mile two went just as well as mile okay. one. It was tempting to pick up the pace for that second mile, but I kept an eye on my heart rate and slowed it down a little bit. There were some downhills nah. that I knew would be uphills on the way back. You about 7.55 for that second mile. I covered that next half mile extra slow so I'd be ready to eat. I rolled up to the halfway point with That's spirits smart. high and fire in my heart. I will say that How the scene at the Krispy Kreme was donut? pure chaos. People were walking, standing, <laughs> sitting everywhere. everywhere. If you're what's called the challenger in the race, you can't leave until you show a race official your empty box of donuts. So people just parked uh, it right in the middle of the street to eat their donuts. I fought my way through the crowd excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. and found a table of donut boxes and an empty space to eat them. At first, I just grabbed one donut. Rookie mistake. I immediately realized that this was going to be harder than I anticipated because my jaw was already getting tired from chewing uh -oh. the donut. I also realized that I hadn't grabbed any water, so I left to go find a bottle. After that first one, I started combining donuts, which seemed to be a popular tactic. My dad said he saw a guy put his box of donuts on the ground and stomp on it so they'd be I ain't gonna cap though when you smash them donuts into like multiple it seems less for whatever reason like when i used to work up work at uh Krispy Kreme anytime the donuts were like smashed together it just seemed like less so i like that i like that clap before he started smart, eating. five donuts down man. no problem i was doing pretty well time wise too. seven challenge. donuts in then nine donuts my stomach was feeling fine i was just starting to get worried about the time i finished Put off by smashing three challenge. donuts together downing them and making my way towards the exit chute by the time i got out of there my eating split was around six He's minutes a smart a man, minute bro. longer than i had He's crazy for. though but it's smart all right, here we it's tactical. Is he trying to win? I like that. Six minutes on the donuts. It's embarrassing. I knew I'd have to hustle on the way back if I wanted to get <laughs> anywhere close to 45 donut. minutes. The first half mile back was unpleasant, but Damn. manageable. The crowds were a lot thinner on the way I back, figured so I figured that. I must be doing okay. I was cooking at about a seven minute mile pace. Mile three started okay. out the same way, but around mile three and a half, I really started to struggle. Uh oh. It's about 3.4 in. Uh -oh. I felt like there was a rock in my Come stomach. On, man, the uphills bro. were killing it, me, and I was really starting to get worried. But I told myself that I, I couldn't let history up. repeat itself. Raleigh had already made a fool of me once, and I wouldn't let it happen again. <laughs> I finished mile four in 7:35. That was hurting. I did not pushing though. Keep on. There would be no Vance this time around. I was all alone. It was just me versus the donuts. And finally, got I got to the point where I knew that I could make it. I just had to hold on a little bit longer. Uh oh. Half a mile to go. Let's That's crazy, man. He Quarter mile to go. Time to get tough. I could see the finish line. I just had to power through. Yeah, man, go ahead. 
and I crossed the finish line with a final time of 45.22, which meant that I averaged 7.51 per mile. So I had completed the challenge and reached my goal, but as soon as I crossed the finish line, an entirely different challenge began. And that was the challenge to keep the donuts down. I knew it. I knew it. Please! No, please! Uh-oh. I could tell people around me were struggling. I tried to just film this guy laying down and accidentally caught him oh, on camera. Oh, dang. Too. Oh, no! Ooh. I honestly didn't know if drinking water was going to help or hurt. Once my body stopped moving, the weird feeling in my stomach just felt like it was moving higher and higher. So I found a grassy area uh -oh. just in case and tried to keep moving. Ah, oh, cool. I thought it had passed, but I still might throw up. I'm trying to walk it off right uh -oh. now. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Do I drink water? I don't know. Uh, don't puke. Uh -oh. He had prepared for this part, man. Mind over matter. Oh gosh, this stomach feels really bad. Just gotta will my body uh -oh. to keep it down. All right, it's been about half an hour since I finished. Uh, for the most part, the urge to vomit has passed, although I still don't okay. feel phenomenal and a couple dangerous burps here and there. But I think at this point, it's safe to say I'm gonna keep the donuts down. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. Anyways, man. I'm sure I'll have more thoughts later. But for now, I'm gonna send it back to the desk. I ended up in 91st place out of about 4,000 participants, which is honestly a lot better than I was expecting. Raleigh and I had settled our score and I was able to leave with my head held high. Before you go, I just wanna share with you this quote that I saw on the wall of the Krispy Kreme where I bought my practice donuts. It said, we all crave experiences that bring more joy to our lives. And I thought, dang, Krispy Kreme, ain't that the truth? So while I'm not suggesting that everybody needs to do this challenge, I do like the idea of adding things that bring joy to our lives. And despite feeling my bad in the second half, this was was definitely an experience that brought joy to my life and I hope that watching it has brought he, you some he, of he is lit he is super lit he trained for that bro I, I wow this is not what I thought it was you know looking at the title I did not expect it to be like an actual challenge I thought it was just something he made up but this man prepared he trained for this junk all to do two miles and eat some donuts. I imagine people fell a long way. Should I walk to the donuts? But I know I'm probably, uh, I'm gonna be last if I'm going back. I know I'm gonna be last if I'm going back, true. But um, y'all let me know you got the stocks and opinions on this video, would y'all do the challenge? Would you Would you do this donut challenge? Or are you starting to dunk it? Maybe if it was dunking, I don't know, maybe. Maybe if it was Duncan, I might give it a swing, you know. But y'all let me know y'all opinions in the comments down below. And I'm going to see y'all for the next one.